Something interesting happened in the last few weeks. Conversation sparked from my latest videos. The 1070 Amp Extreme versus the 970 Gaming Gigabyte. And the conversation was, well, the processor used, the i7-70K, doesn't it bottleneck the graphics card? Great question. Let's go find out. Before we start, I just wanted to tell you a bit about what I'm using and the way I'm looking at how to find out if my graphics card is bottlenecked. The first thing I'm going to do is compare CPU and GPU. Now if the CPU is not bottlenecking the GPU then the GPU should be up in the high percentage on load so it should be sort of like you know 80s, 90s in percentage of the GPU being used. On the other hand if it was like a GPU being used at say 50, 60 percent and the CPU was like 90 percent that would be a bottleneck. Now the game settings, first of all, I pushed the game settings in some of the games as far as I could go without it being a horrible experience. And on the 1070 that's pretty much wherever I wanted to go really. We're not here to compare like for like game settings, we're here to compare the load and if the graphics card is using its full ability on top of my processor. Or if my CPU, the 377K, is actually restricting my graphics card from working to its full potential. I'm using GPU-Z, CPU-Z and real temp. I'm using real temp because real temp actually shows a load of the CPU here just in the middle as you can see on this clip. GPU wise I'm going to use GPU Z because GPU Z has a very nice load on it as well showing the GPU graphics card load. You can see very very clearly I've linked it to the top so on the top band it also says the load of the GPU. I've done this to make it easier for you to look at so you've got them both on a similar eye level and you can compare them as you're watching the games. My 377OK runs at a clock speed of 4.6 gigs. I don't run it like that daily, so for this test I'm going to leave it at 4.3 which is what I use daily. The reason being, when I get to 4.4 I have to put in a considerable amount of voltage and I don't like that. Also, I think most people, if not everyone who has this processor, will get at least 4.2, 4.3, so I think it's more mainstream the figure. I've even overclocked the GPU because I want it to run nearly as fast as it can and I'm not going to overclock it completely but I've given it a really decent overclock as you'll be able to tell with exposition. Without further ado, let's go look at the figures.
we can see that the graphics card is running at 98-99% of its capacity and the processors between sort of 40, 50, 60, 70 ish percent, occasionally 80. I mean there's no bottleneck happening. The Intel i7, the fourth in the series, the Ivory Bridge, the 3770K is absolutely fine for modern gaming. Probably another one or two generations left in it and then I'll probably upgrade. But I think if you've got an i7 at the moment and it's like an ivory bridge or higher, you'll be absolutely fine. If it's a sandy bridge, a series 3 or lower, I've heard rumours and I've seen a few tests where that does actually start to bottleneck your graphics card. But most of those tests were done on 1080s that I looked at so I couldn't tell you if that would be the same on the 1070. But if you're an ivory bridge and your processor is similar to mine and you're running at about 4.3, you're okay, you're not getting bottlenecked. I've, I've tested my CPU many times. I've gone up from 3.5 gigahertz in steps and I've looked at it and I've seen increases in frame rates. And 4.3 on my Ivy Bridge was kind of like the level where there was no more increase. I think there was like one or two frames a second when I went to four, you know, 4.4 gigahertz. But it was so insignificant for the amount of voltage I had to apply onto the die. I was like, okay, I'll have the one frame a second less and I'll have half the voltage. That'll do me. Lifespan will be longer of the CPU. So, you don't have to worry. If you've got an i7 Ivy Bridge, you're probably going to be alright. According to my video, you should be. It's not a problem, and a 1070 is a great graphics card to match up with your i7. Music